Now, one of the tightest races in the country is the Senate race in Wisconsin. The outcome could, the outcome could well determine if Republicans or Democrats control the U.S. Senate. Katie Crowther is with Russ Feingold's campaign in Middleton. But we're going to begin with Julia Fellow and incumbent Ron Johnson's campaign in Oshkosh. Julia. It's right. I just spoke to Senator Ron Johnson just this morning, one on one in Milwaukee. He tells me the three counties he's keeping a very close eye on tonight. We, we need not only high turnout, we need a record turnout out of Waukesha, Ozaki, and Washington. If Waukesha County is any indication, turnout will be huge. The county clerk tells today's TMJ4 she expects a higher turnout than the 2012 presidential election, which was at 85%. This race could not be any closer. Russ Feingold's five-point lead over incumbent Johnson in September shrunk to one percentage point in the Marquette University Law School poll taken just six days ago. Johnson says he has a vastly different outlook of America's future compared to his opponent. If you really wonder why more good people don't run for office, look no further than his false and relentlessly negative campaign against me. But, you know, a 34-year career politician has hardly anything good to show for, a lot of bad stuff. The current chair of Homeland Security tells me if he's reelected tonight, the first thing that he would do is try to increase border and cybersecurity. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Julia. Russ Feingold is running to get his old job back. Katie Crowther continues our live coverage. She's in Middleton. Katie. Carol and George, it is quite the rematch. Johnson defeated Feingold by less than 5.6 years ago. Now, Feingold is back with a vengeance and wants his old job back. He was out in Madison rallying some last minute support and thanking his campaign volunteers. He tells us he is not worried about the poll numbers showing that his lead has narrowed to just one point. He says many of the polls are simply inaccurate and he's confident he's going to beat Ron Johnson and win back the Senate seat for Democrats. You got to listen to people of the state. You can't pontificate or just say things uh, that your own interest. You got to actually represent people. And in this time and in this economy, uh, there's too many families that have a hard time paying the bills and they deserve a break. And so that's what we have to do. We can't just win the election. We have to actually produce. And so I'm very eager to win this thing tonight and then get to work. A lot of state Democratic leaders will be here with Russ Feingold tonight. I will also be here bringing you all of it. For now, reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. And we will be watching. Thank you very much, Katie. Well,